Hey, hey, it's Bridget and PCOS sucks. I don't know if you saw the post that I did last week about a new supplement I was going to start taking, but I did. And today I'm going to let you guys know what I think of it so far. So first, let me start off. I'm not a PCOS expert. This review is not endorsed at all. It is just my personal experience over something I saw and decided to try. Um, here's what I know about PCOS. Number one, it sucks. <laughs> Number two, it affects almost every woman that has it differently. Um, for me personally, it has made me insulin resistant and pre-diabetic. That's one way that it affects some women. Uh, my cycles are regular. Some women have irregular cycles due to PCOS. Some women have ovarian cysts due to PCOS. Some women have male pattern baldness, male pattern facial hair. Um, I don't struggle with those specific things. My biggest thing is my insulin resistance and my trouble losing weight. So like I said, PCOS affects everybody differently. And I think there's probably going to be different products that work for people differently too. My doctor has me on metformin and spironolactone. And personally, I've not seen huge differences being on the medication. It has helped my A1C level a little bit, which is my blood sugar over time, um, a little bit. But I still have crazy cravings. I'm always hungry. PCOS makes it really hard for me to lose weight. I had one friend that told me one time, she was like, oh, you've gained a few pounds. It's okay because you'll drop it. But people don't realize, unless you really know me and have seen, if, you, if you've watched me at all pictures, um, known me for years, you've seen my weight go up and down, up and down. And it does go up and down. And when it goes down, it's because I'm busting my butt. I mean, really. If you saw me about a year and a half ago, I was probably the most in shape and healthiest I'd ever been um, before I had a freak accident with an inflatable and tore my ACL. But in order to get to that shape and to that weight, I was following a pretty strict diet and I was doing intense workouts and a lot of times, two times a day. I would do boot camp classes in the morning and CrossFit classes in the evening. Um, it was nuts. And I was in the best shape that I had ever been in, and I was the happiest with my body, but I had to work extremely hard. So, since I hurt my knee, I've not been working out. So, full disclaimer, I do a workout every now and then. <laughs> Nothing like I probably should for my health or my weight. And I know the weight's not going to come off if I'm not working out too. But I felt like I needed something to help with the weight and with the cravings. Um... Yeah, so Kelly took metformin too, and she couldn't tell a huge, huge difference. I stay ravenous. Like, nothing satisfies my hunger. I mean, I'll get full for a little while, but in an hour or two, I'm starving. And sometimes I think I want something sweet, and I eat something sweet, and it does not satisfy the craving. Um, so when I found Ovocidal, this is what it looks like. Um, I started doing reviews and research online. I don't even know how I come across it, honestly. Um, probably an ad. Who knows? That's <laughs> how we buy all things these days, right? An ad or you hear somebody talk about it and you now you're hearing me talk about it. Um, but when I found it, I started doing research and one thing it said was it helped with cravings. So here's what I think. I started taking it last Monday evening, so I'm almost a full week in. I missed one night. I had already laid down in bed and I remembered after I had laid down, I was like, I'm not getting up. It is a powder. This particular one is a powder. I do think they have a capsule. This one's a powder and it's a tiny little scooper. I'll show you the size of the scooper. And you just mix one scoop in in the morning and one in the evening with any kind of drink. It could be water, um, whatever. So here's the tiny little scooper. You see how big it is. It's tiny. Um, I have never had issues having a regular cycle. There's a little TMI, so guys, if you're watching, plug your ears. Um, I have an IUD, so that makes it almost non-existent for me, thank the Lord. Um, but within about two to three days of taking the ovocidal, there was some things going on. Um, so it is supposed to help regulate cycles. I do know we didn't, we never had any problems getting pregnant, but I do know that I ovulate late 
in my cycle. So I'm not going to be testing or anything because we're not trying to get pregnant. But I would be curious to see if this changed it at all. I'm not sure. So the first day or two, I still was hungry, but it helped the cravings, I think. At least I think it's helping. It could be a total placebo effect and, you know, my brain being like, oh, this is working. Whatever, something's working. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. So I think it helped with the cravings. I was still hungry, but I was able to pass on stuff that I could be like, no, that's not what I really want, or that's not going to satisfy this urge or my craving. It's not going to take it away. I can just pass. Whereas before, I'd be like, I don't care. I'm hungry. Let me try it. Um, then about the fourth or fifth day in, I was like, I think I'll look a little less bloated. And I got on the scale, and I double-checked. So the first time I checked, well, before I started taking it, I checked in the morning, and that time was not in the morning. So then I checked again this morning so I could give you guys an accurate number, and I have lost 1.8 pounds. So I will keep an eye on that and keep you updated on that part of everything, but I think something's working. Um, hopefully, this will help get everything in balance, and the way, the best comparison or description that I read for um, metformin versus ovocytal was basically when you are pre-diabetic and insulin resistant, your body does not process sugars and carbs like it needs to. So the metformin and spironolactone kind of attach to the sugars in your bloodstream and help your body get rid of them. So in my opinion, that means that you're not getting the energy from the sugars that you're supposed to. And you're never going to feel satisfied. You're never going to have those cravings fulfilled because your body's not processing the sugars and the medicine's just getting rid of it. A description that I read about the ovocytal said that this is supposed to help your body relearn and help it actually process those sugars. So it makes sense to me that that would be why some of the cravings are then satisfied and that you would have increased energy because of it because then you are processing the sugars that you're putting in your bodies versus it going into your body and something else taking it right back out. So the science behind it and the, descri the descriptions behind it make sense to me. So I'm going to keep trying it and I will keep you guys posted on any other thoughts that I have, um, any other breakthroughs that I have, any questions that you guys have for me or things that you want me to watch or to touch on in the future, let me know. Um, drop them in the comments and I will be glad to do that. But for me, my opinion, one weekend, I'm a fan and I'm excited to keep on taking the ovocytal and see what else it does for me. Hopefully it will get my skin clear. It looks clear right now. It's actually clear, but I have, I've struggled with oil over many, many years. Um, and I am hoping that it will get my weight under control. Those are my biggest things that I'm really, really hoping from it. So I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, if there's anything specific you want me to touch on or to pay attention to or watch, just let me know. All right, guys. See ya.